I was. I was getting ready, but she. You know, go get something to eat. Yeah, and I might go buy a Mercedes. <laughs> well, Kevin, at least you're doing the smartest thing. You're not waiting until five o'clock when all the traffic's packed out there this time. No, just that when I get out of it, if I get out of the dealership, it'll be five o'clock. <laughs> I go in there, I'll be like, go in there, give me my car, get out. <laughs> and I get out before traffic hit. But uh no, like I was saying though, with uh Bob Air. Uh-huh. That's what this is all a, a game. Because Manny Pacquiao is gonna believe he can leave. Like I'm done. Now I can go back and fight Mayweather without Bob. That ain't going to happen. <laughs> he think he'll be eligible to go back, fight, and all that. Uh-uh, buddy. You're going to owe Bob Aaron for all these times. From May, he was declared medically inactive. So all this time going around, Manny Pacquiao is medically inactive until that doctor... Tom Rank's doctor go in there and, and give him an examination and say you are eligible to return back to fighting and once you are taken off that list then you become an active fighter again so that means your contract with Bob Arum is frozen yep. so all that time you missed all those months you gotta pay back to Bob Arum yeah or pay to get out of your contract and he ain't gonna do that. So he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna sit there and come back and be like, "Well, I'm just gonna retire." That's gonna be the only move for you. But you ain't making no steps without Bob. Bob gonna make sure he got you <laughs> until he ready to let you go. You getting in that ring? <laughs> like dude told him in Karate Kid Three. <laughs> You getting in that ring. You defending. <laughs> All we need is your title. We need you to get in the ring. Terrence Crawford beat you. That's it. You go home. But yeah, they try to make it look like it's a long list of people who can get it for negotiational reasons. But they're going to fight Amir Khan. But I told you, oh, yeah. that video we put out yeah, cost so much. Yeah, that... No, he ain't going to fight Crawford right off the bat. After Amir Khan? Yeah, yeah, he'll fight Crawford after Khan. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's going to fight Amir Khan, then after that, Bud Crawford. Yep, and then he's going to and sleep. that's it? That's it. That is it. That That'll is... be the passing of the torch. Yep. Step over his body and go into the next. He might do a farewell fight in the Philippines. Then who knows? He might stick around and try to go fight Floyd again. Who knows? And then he said, uh, and then he said, uh, and then he, then he got Freddie Roach talking about dropping, uh, May Pacquiao. If Manny doesn't look good this next fight, I'm just going to tell him to retire. He's just not the same. He, he better show me something or else I'm quitting as his coach. That's what Freddie said? Basically, in a roundabout way. <laughs> in a roundabout way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play the interview with Freddie and be like, well, Freddie, if Rose, man, you want to retire, he can retire after this next one. I'll be like, where do you get all that from? That, you ain't hear what he said? <laughs> basically, basically, he said that Manny, when he fought Floyd Mayweather, he said, even though he said he had a shoulder injury, he still didn't look like he really wanted him to look. And he said, you know, when you get older, your speed starts to go, and Manny's starting to slow down. And, you know, Manny's pretty much got to show me something this next fight. If you don't really show me something I'm pleased with, then, you know, I'm going to have that talk with him about, you need to go ahead and retire. Well, that's a far cry from, I thought he won the fight. <laughs> yeah, he, he changed his tune now. Yeah, everybody changing the tune. They then went from gangster rap to the pop. <laughs> All I know right now that you have to show me.